Good evening, guys! Welcome to Life Apollo, some of the most trusted beard and automotive news. Happy to have you here. Now, before anyone says anything, yes, the pink beard is coming. I just bought the dye. I just have to make sure that the filming of the beard dyeing is up to uh, a certain uh, hype level. But enough about that, guys. Thanks for joining us today. Uh, some pretty crazy stories in the automotive and supercar community to go over. Uh, some of the craziest videos maybe ever done in the automotive YouTube history, uh, plus some crazy crazy legal stuff for Whistle and Diesel, and then an unfortunate thing happened to one of Stradman's vehicles. Oh, and by the way, guys, make sure to sub to the channel if you're not a member already. It's totally free. It helps Megan and I out tremendously. And make sure to like the video, too. YouTube likes it when there's a lot of likes on each video. And with that, Beard Nation, welcome to the show. I'm gonna make him an offer he can't refuse. First up today, guys, uh, we're actually gonna talk about a, a movie that I watched last night. Uh, very fittingly, Fast and Furious 9. I gotta say, I had more fun watching this movie than almost any other movie that I have seen in the last year. Uh, not because like it was a really great movie, it's just like the movie was so incredibly aware of what was happening within it and the absurd levels that it pushed forth. Some of the funniest parts, guys, were uh, copious levels uh, of mentions of the word family. You don't turn your back on family. Uh, almost to the point where we were like cheering every time they said it. And maybe my favorite part in the entire movie, or at least one of them, guys, was a discussion between a couple of the characters about how they are seemingly invincible over the last nine movies, that nothing ever seems to hurt them and they don't have a scratch on them. Self-aware movies like that always uh, give me a great experience in the theaters. I know it's not Shakespeare, as Megan was telling uh, some of her friends earlier, but if you like the Fast and Furious saga at all, I think you're really going to enjoy that. Just know what you're getting yourself into when you go to the theater. And yes, there is a Pontiac Fiero that goes into space. That's, a, that's an actual thing that happens in the movie to give you some idea of what this movie is like. Next up, guys, uh, a huge update to yesterday's story. As you guys know, in yesterday's story, we talked at length about the different difficulties that Whistle and Diesel has had had with both TikTok being banned permanently there a number of weeks ago, and then yesterday seemingly being banned permanently on Instagram as well with the appeal process not working for him when he tried it. Now in the last 24 hours, guys, uh, things got significantly crazier, some good, some bad. Initially, his secondary account got massive engagement. Uh, Whistle and Diesel were marking on how crazy it is that his backup account was seemingly doing better than his original one. So there's maybe a question of suppression there, uh, something like that shouldn't normally happen when it has a fraction of the number of followers. It got crazy enough later that someone said, do you plan on suing Instagram? Whistle and Diesel responding, saying, yes, if they don't give my account back, I will look into it if it's anywhere under $500,000 to win, uh, seemingly pledging half a million dollars to get his Instagram back. And then guys, literally just moments ago at the time of me filming this right here, we got two brand new posts seemingly on a reactivated Whistle and Diesel account account with a pretty crazy explanation of what actually happened to him and his account. His first post showing a picture of him taking a bathroom selfie saying, knock, knock, guess who's back? My account got deleted automatically by some blank filter because I was joking around with a fan. So I appealed it and they restored it. I tried not to lose my cool and go off. I had a very aggressive video ready, but thankfully they made it right. In the meantime, literally nothing is safe to post anymore. So follow the backup account, Whistle and Diesel 69. And then next up guys, just a couple minutes ago, also sharing a message directly from Instagram. Uh, the message from Instagram saying it looks like your account was disabled by mistake. Your account has been reactivated and you should be able to log in now. We're sorry for any inconvenience. Saying maybe they're not so bad after all. Follow the backup account, Whistle and Diesel 69. So this is actually an incredible result and not one that we thought was going to happen, guys. Seemingly uh, what happened with uh, TikTok with a permanent ban over there and no resolution, we thought the same thing was going to happen here. Uh, it just goes to show you that even if you have a million followers on Instagram, automatic takedowns can happen of your account at any time. Uh, posting things that might be construed by some sort of robot or some sort of automated system can always be a harm to what you're looking to post. This is an importance of diversifying a lot of your audience, guys. It's why we have an Instagram account. It's why we have a YouTube channel. Uh, to have all of your eggs in one basket, and there's not really many uh, good competitors for YouTube specifically, is a pretty tough thing to have to deal with. But maybe Make sure to go check it out, guys. Let me know what you think about the, the, the ban, the reversal from Instagram, and sort of what this is going to mean moving forward. If I had to guess, uh, given the history of Instagram and Whistle and Diesel,
diesel over the last couple months. I would imagine this is going to happen again, and who knows what'll happen next time. But anyway, let me know what you guys think of this story, and on to our next one, which is also a pretty big one. Next up, guys, Carwell might have the craziest video that I have ever seen, uh, at least in the last couple of years, to be sure, and that is going after the Rimac Nevera versus the SF90. They've outdone themselves, if you can believe it. The video is called Bugatti Chiron versus F1 Car Drag Race. It is as insane as you would think it's going to be, guys. Uh, and I don't want to say it's a surprising result. I think a lot of you probably know what's going to happen. They did three different races, from my recollection. Uh, you have to see it, guys. Millions and millions of views already. Carwell continues to outdo themselves pretty much every week. I don't know of anyone in the automotive community that outdoes themselves in this particular way. Every time you think they've done something that can't be topped, they top it again. Hands down, guys, one of the craziest and just awesome videos I have seen in a long, long time. Link for that video in the description below. Go see it if you haven't. And I have a couple other great drag races for you as well, guys. One from Throttle House. Uh, the, the drag race that no one asks to see, but we're watching anyway. Uh, 2022 Honda Civic versus Toyota Corolla versus Mazda 3 Drag and Roll Race. I feel like uh, people just love drag races right now. It's a, type, it's a type of content that is blowing up all over the place, uh, regardless of the car. I mean, a couple months ago, uh, Carwell did a semi-drag race with a couple of semis, and that did incredibly well as well. So anyway, go check it out, guys. Great video on Throttle House. And one more after that from Yanomize, actually. Mr. JWW in the Aston Martin DBX versus Yanny in his Lamborghini Urus. Drag race number three. A lot of people love the Lamborghini Urus, guys, but the DBX is not quite as well known yet. So if you want to see how these two, uh, we'll call them super SUVs, compare in a drag race, make sure to go check out Yanomize's video with a great appearance by Mr. JWW as well. Next up guys, an awesome congratulations to TJ Millionaire Mentor. Uh, the next video is just amazing. It's called My New $680,000 Ferrari 812 GTS first drive. He lent this car to Tall Guy Car Reviews for his wedding, and now he's sort of officially taking delivery of it afterward. It is one of the best spec Ferraris I think I have ever seen. It is just absolutely stunning to look at. A massive congratulations to TJ. Uh, good lord, that thing is amazing. The setting for that video, by the way, might be the most perfect background for a Ferrari that I've ever seen. So if you've not checked out TJ Millionaire Mentor, make sure to go do so. When he actually does car content, it's crazy and fantastic. Fantastic and always full of high dollar cars. Great channel, check it out. As I'm looking down on my list here, guys, there's even more crazy uh, buying going on right now. Manny Koshman taking delivery of my seventh and eighth McLaren SLR. I, I wanna say that at this point, I feel like eventually Manny will own 100% of all the SLRs on the planet. Somehow he'll find a way. I don't think anyone else on the planet has eight it's SLRs, uh, it, it's a crazy thing, guys. The SLR is an incredible car. It's actually a car that we looked at. They're not as insanely expensive as you would think. Extraordinarily rare. Uh, go check it out. Let me know what you guys think. Uh, Manny has uh, the most of all the SLRs out there, I suppose. Next up, guys, the provocatively titled video from Amelia Hartford uh, called Sold My Supercar. Guess getting rid of one of the cars in her fleet. But obviously, getting rid of a car opens up a lot more possibilities. A lot of big things potentially shaken up on the, on the Amelia Hartford channel right now. If you haven't been tuning in, make sure to go do so. She's averaging like three to 400,000 views on her bigger videos, uh, really getting primed for a massive breakthrough. When people get to the half a million level uh, in terms of views and get ready to ascend beyond that, you're talking about Stradman level stuff. Go check it out. I think you'll love the video. Next up, guys, speaking of Stradman, one of our headline stories for the day, guys, it appears that he's had some uh, somewhat bad luck with his Ford Raptor, the big Shelby version. Uh, so we got this picture a couple hours ago. It says before with the, the beautiful Baja Raptor looking fantastic, uh, overlooking the mountains, obviously having a very good time. And then an hour after that, we got this guys, a picture afterward uh, with what appears to be some sort of damage. The wheel looks completely out of whack. Uh, I don't know exactly how serious that's going to be. I would imagine that we're going to get a vlog on it extraordinarily soon. One of the cool things about Stradman's channel is that he often gives big clues or teasers to some of the bigger vlogs that he does on his Instagram account first, or even TikTok in some ways. Definitely a bunch of sad emojis for Stradman, guys. I don't know what caused that damage, probably doing some amount of off-roading, I would imagine, if he's up there in the mountains. Uh, but kind of a bummer, guys. Uh, it, what's crazy about that is 
Raptors, especially that particular Raptor, are just crazy built up and normally can handle a lot of stress. So you gotta wonder what happened to the Raptor that caused that damage. At least it looks like it's damaged. We can only tell from sort of the context of the words and the placement of the wheel. Make sure to be keeping an eye out for a new video on one of his channels. Now we gotta check two channels, guys, extraordinarily soon. Couple more left today, guys. Uh, next up, Automotive Life with a very important video if you ever wanted to put a car on Turo. So it's called Turo versus Rental car license and Lucky goes into all the different sort of uh, minutia of this topic and it's a pretty important topic if you ever wanted to put a car on Turo or get a rental car license this is going to be the video for you to check out I was actually just talking with Lucky about this last time I was in Las Vegas and he's very knowledgeable on the subject go check it out guys Automotive Life provides uh, sort of the dealer perspective to a lot of car questions that maybe you didn't know so go check it out guys Automotive Life one of the new channels to watch right now other great new channels to watch guys I've been talking about him for a couple months now, four-wheel trader, how the global chip shortage increased car prices and what this means for future prices. So this is kind of a crazy thing, guys. We've looked at the, the used car market, especially right now. Everything is like 20% plus on what it was just a couple of months ago. And for the foreseeable future, uh, that could be what we're dealing with. Uh, it makes sense to sell some of the cars that you have if it's eventually going to go back down. If you want to get the, the skinny on what's going on right now, four-wheel trader has a lot of information about this and he is extraordinarily nice knowledgeable on the subject of used car prices. Go check it out, Four Wheel Trader. Uh, you need to be following him if you care about depreciation, or in this case, appreciation for literally any car. And finally, guys, wanna make sure I mention Heavy D Sparks, his latest video called We Drop Whistle and Diesel's Truck from a Flying Helicopter Two Miles High. It's the background on that insane video we saw a couple days ago. Heavy D Sparks, fantastic channel. If you're not following them, you're missing out big time. And folks, that's all I got for you guys today. Thanks for tuning in. Uh, just so many crazy things going on right now, guys. Uh, you know, almost lawsuits with Instagram, over the whistle and diesel account stuff, then him getting it back, Stradman messing up his Raptor, and obviously all the Fast and Furious 9 stuff that we just watched last night. Go have a great day. Uh, consume the knowledge that we've spread forth here, and tell me if there's any channels that we should be following that we're not right now. That's all I got, guys. Make sure to stay safe, sane, and healthy. I'm out.